don't think anyone's on yet. Yep. Oh, hi, Andrew. Hi, Andrew. I think we'll wait for a minute or two more. Okay. Just, for, just to let people get on. Sounds good. Yeah. Should I start prepping, actually? Yeah, I think that'd be a good idea. Careful, nice in your way. Okay. So let me just deal with the fish fillet first. Oh, Tess. Hi, Tess. Hi, Tess. We're going to make fish tacos today, so yeah. we're going to prep some fish fillets for now. We've got some fresh tortillas from Mexico, because mm. Marco just came back from Mexico not too long ago. And um, we're excited to do a pescatarian dish today, because mm -hmm. last time we did a vegetarian dish. Yep. How is our audio? Is the music okay? Hello, Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi, Sam. So, okay, maybe we can start now. I okay. think that was a yeah. good time. Uh, let us know if the audio isn't clear or there's something wrong with the music. So we're going to, again, Medora uh, explained just now. Um, we're going to start with a uh, fish taco, so which is a pescatarian dish. So I'm really excited to see what Medora has prepared for us today. Yep. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, we'll be talking about mental health throughout, uh, talking about how food is related to mental health and how we can take care of our body during this time. So we hope this uh, dish and recipe is an inspiration to you guys and just give you some ideas of what you can do during this time. Absolutely. I think right now we have so much time at home, so it's great to pick up a skill or two and cooking is a great way to do it. As last time we talked about, cooking is a great way to, you know, um, as a therapy, help soothe your mind, soothe your body while you're doing it. The whole process is actually very therapeutic. So, hi Tony! Hi Tony! So we're gonna start prepping the fish fillet first. Um, I actually think that for fish tacos, the best kind of fish to use is just simple white fish fillet. Mm. You can get this anywhere in supermarkets mm -hmm. and it's rel relatively cheaper. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I got three fillets for 50 bucks. Wow, that's so like a that's really good price. Really good price because I think for quantity and quality, I think this is pretty good. I usually get it in um, uh, DCH. Yeah, DCH. Uh, DCH supermarket. Um, and they their fish is really soft. Um, and we're going to do a not super traditional Mexican fish taco today because of our limited ingredients. Mm -hmm. But we've got avocados, we've got onions, we've got tomatoes, and because we don't have lime, we use lemon to replace the citrus element. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. And then we've got, some, Marco brought some home, you, you bought, yeah. brought some hot sauce, you wanna talk about I bought some hot sauce all the way from Mexico, and I ate it during the first live stream I did with my friend Nathaniel, and it was like super hot. And like we were both like sweating buckets and we had to like drink in the same amount of milk. So we're going to add a little bit or maybe... maybe or maybe I'll, just add it to your taco. <laughs> or maybe I'll, I'll just sneak it, sneak into Medora's taco. No, please don't. <laughs> I think, um, I don't know how I will react. I think I'm going to start sweating bullets and I'm going to cry and then I'm going to like use a lot of tissue. <laughs> okay. So we'll make sure that happens after we cook. So we'll make sure that doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, anyway, um, so for us, the fish taco today, we're going to do a little um, less healthy version because we're going to mm -hmm. fry it. Yeah. But we're going to um, add a lot of different kinds of powder into the batter, and mm -hmm. I'll show you in a bit, which mm -hmm. is very healthy. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So one thing good about fish is fish is actually one of the more healthier like meat options out there, like compared to uh, beef or compared to pork. Fish has a lot of uh, omega-3. 100%. Um, mm. So meat has a lot of omega-6 fatty acids, mm -hmm. which is actually considered not as good fat as omega-3 fatty acids. Yeah. And um, it's been said that fish has a lot of these omega-3 fatty acids that can help with your mood. Mm. So it can help elevate your mood. And it's high in protein, so it gives you energy, and it's low in um, fat, so it's very healthy for you as well. And it's super versatile. You can um, do it in stir fries. You can do it like steamed fish. You can do fried fish, and you can also bake fish. It's just there's so many different ways to cook fish. And um, today we're going to show you fried fish. Oh. And um, 
Yeah, we're gonna talk a little bit more on how, what kind of foods you can actually eat to elevate your mood. Um, I think last time someone asked, what kind of foods um, can I eat to help with the stress or if I'm sad? And one of the things you can definitely eat is nuts. Mm. But I actually did some research. Funny thing, I don't know if you eat oysters. Mm -hmm. Do you eat oysters? Maybe a little bit, very okay. occasionally. Because oysters has a lot of zinc and that has been like, in the research that I did, they said that it can also help elevate your mood as wow. well. Wow. Yeah. So and spinach. Eat and, more spinach. And um, chicken and turkey. Mm. Because they have that um, enzyme tryptophan, which helps your levels of serotonin, yeah. I think. Alright, so Popeye wasn't wrong. Eat more spinach. Popeye was not wrong. Popeye had a reason. Popeye was not wrong. Alright, uh, do you want to show us what we have here today? Yes. Okay, so. This is a very special blend that I'm so excited to share with you guys. So the base for this um, dip uh, for the fish before we dip into the batter mm -hmm. is, well, cornstarch, one thing for sure. We're definitely going to do some cornstarch. Mm -hmm. Like last time for tofu, cornstarch is a really good agent for frying stuff mm -hmm. um, or just pan frying. Yeah. Um, so we've got a lot of... So the trick for... Oh, hi Cindy. Hi Cindy! So I think the trick for frying things is like, you, like for good fried food, you want the outside to be crispy and the inside to be moist, mm -hmm. right? Definitely. That's why we have this batter to yes. like create a crispy um, like layer on the and outside. And I think before, like if you just dip the fish into this batter, which I made, this is basically just tempura powder mixed with water. Um, if you just dip the fish in here, the batter is just going to slide off. So we need to dip it into... Um, some kind of dried powder first. Mm -hmm. Ideally, we would also have egg wash, mm -hmm. but I think this would also work fine. Okay. So we're gonna add some salt, the Himalayan sea salt. Should we also add some pepper? Or? Yes, please. Okay. And grind some pepper in there. Ooh. Don't, don't, um, don't hesitate. Be generous. Okay. And then we've also got some garlic powder to add some garlic flavor, and garlic also has a lot of um, immune helps your boost your immunity system, oh. immune system. So, Hi, Fatima. Hi, Fatima. So feel free to ask questions during this time. Yeah, and then we also got some onion salt because again, Ooh. onion is great. Never say or, wrong. No. Ooh, and then this is turmeric powder. Turmeric powder, which I talked about last time a little bit, and we're gonna add it into the blend so we can sneak in some extra immunity boost. Oh, it's really yellow. Um, so you usually find it in curries as well. I remember one time my mom, instead of using like the spicy curry powder, yeah. she used the turmeric powder to replace the curry powder. And so when we we're oh, eating wow. curry, we all realized like, oh my gosh, this curry is actually not spicy. But then you guys probably didn't get sick for a very long time. That is true. That is right? true. Okay, so I'm mixing the powder right now. That's for dipping. Mm -hmm. And then we dip into the powder. So I actually think we can... Probably add some oil and heat up. So. Ah, so uh, Cindy's asking, what sort of fish are you using? Would you like this? Oh, um, I used white fish, which is just kind of like a fish fillet. Um, it's like, oh my gosh, I don't think you need to <laughs> <laughs> So um, it's basically fish fillets you can buy in supermarkets. They can mm -hmm. come in the frozen packets, yeah. or you can get it in the... Um, everyday fresh seafood section um, yeah it's pretty cheap as well very budget friendly mm -hmm. so um, and it's soft the reason why I picked this fish for fish tacos is it doesn't have that really strong fish flavor um, and it's not a lot of oil um, and it's really um, it just fall it's almost like cod but then cod is really expensive so this is a really good substitute yeah for our wallets mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, we're looking out for your wallet, guys, okay? Yeah. All the recipes we recommend are, like, good for your wallet. Yeah. Like, last week we did the mushroom and... Tofu. Uh, tofu. Like, just because it's cheap doesn't mean you can't have great food. Exactly. You can have delicious food for such a cheap price. Okay. So, do you want me to start with, like, the... Dipping the... Okay. The batter? Yes, how yes, do, how yes. Do Let me get you a plate, and then you can uh -huh. dip the fish, and then place a dipped fish into here. Oh, hi Timothy. Hi Timothy. And basically what we want to do is you dip this one mm -hmm. 
and then I'll deal with this. Okay. I'll dip it and I'll immediately put it okay. into the oil. So we have like a frying pan right at the back. I don't know if you can see. We're going to try and bring it a little closer. We'll bring this over once we finish dipping. Okay. So maybe actually we can dip this first. Okay. So how have your diet, have you been eating any healthier stuff lately? Have you still been eating a lot of pasta? <laughs> Well, today I actually had like a pad thai, but the pad thai Ooh. was like full of vegetables. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. I feel like I really realize now like I've been lacking like vegetables in my diet, especially after last week's session. Yeah. I, mean, I, I really like hit home. So now I'm oh. trying a lot to like, you I'm know, glad. have more like vegetables. I'm very happy for you that um, you're learning. <laughs> <laughs> How to eat healthier. And I hope that you can tell the differences in your daily mm -hmm. routine mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by eating more vegetables. Okay. okay. Yeah. I like how you were not, totally not being sarcastic there. I wasn't being sarcastic. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, again, so like you can make your own blends mm -hmm. for the powder. Um, whatever rocks your boat, you can do herby ones. So you can have like rosemary powder or like thyme mm. or like basil. Um, if you want to do your own twist, you can also add like, um, like nutmeg. I think cardamom is also a really good one. Mm -hmm. um, or cumin, if you want to go for like the Indian route. Um, also, like there's a lot of spices that has a lot of different beneficial um, um, facts for your body. I just don't know all of them, but I know that pepper also has a lot. Like, mm -hmm. Um, that's why I picked these ones because I think they're all like boosting your immune system. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, like, don't you feel like touching the flower and then dipping it? Like, it's so nice, right? Yeah. It's like very it's very soft. Very soft. And it's just very soothing. Nice music. Hi, Phoebe. Oh yeah, we played um Mexican music to fit the theme today because yes. we're making tacos. I know it's usually Taco Tuesday, but it's a Friday, and I feel like you can eat tacos every day. Dude, I'm totally I can, down. I can eat tacos every day, every meal. It's just so yummy. Yeah, feel free to let us know. Oh, lovely. Yes. So if you have any questions, feel free. We're here to talk about anything, but also we want to highlight kind of about mental health and like food. I yeah. think that's the main topic we want to talk about today. Yeah, linking one and one together. All right, I think we're almost I think finished. We're done. Yeah. Okay. So, so okay. shall we bring the phone over here yeah. so they can okay. watch how we fry the fish? Let me just wash my hands real quick. Okay. So, I think oil is pretty ready. Um. Okay. I'll let you bring the phone over. Okay. I'm gonna bring you guys over now. Ooh, look at this. Oh, be careful of that sizzling sound. Okay. I feel like we're frying a lot. Okay. Oh. So, so I just a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. So as you, that is the frying pan with the oil. oil. So Medora's gonna put some inside now. Oh. Okay, ready? Yeah. Oof. Ooh. Ooh. You can like see it like sizzling like really really loudly. Butter is doing well. Right, hey, I'll bring it a little closer so you guys can take a look. Wow, uh, look at that. Look at that baby. Look at that fish. Mm mm mm. It's gonna be so yummy. Oh yeah. I just know it. I'm so hungry. I'll just set you guys down. Mm -hmm. I think we don't put so much. Okay. So you want to make sure it doesn't stick to the bottom of the mm -hmm. pan, right? So you move it a little bit when it's frying. And then... Okay. Okay. Then you can um, flip it when it's getting golden brown. Yep. I've been working out every day also. Wow. Like every morning when I wake up, I go for a walk. Yeah. Because I feel like... Um, I've been working at home, right? Yeah. So like before last week, um, every morning when I wake up, I just immediately open my laptop and start going through what I'm going to do for the yeah. day. 
And that can actually be quite draining because you just wake up and then you end your day at home. Yeah. So like I feel like I should actually start doing a new additional routine mm -hmm. by adding a workout session in the morning right before I start work. And that actually helps a lot. Oh. I bring my dog out as well. So we get like yeah. a little one-on-one -on -one time. Yeah. And then um, we just basically run around the stadium. And then by the time I get home, it's like around the same time to get ready to start work. Yeah. And I just feel like this routine, that helped, it helped me so much this week. Like I feel a little lighter mm -hmm. in terms of my mood. Because I was a little stressed out as well. Um, when I started working from home, because I feel like, oh, my home and my work is exactly the same place. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, I'm happy that, um, I started working out. Can I get some place over? Um, oh, oh actually, I'll <laughs> get, I'll <laughs> get, I'll get, I'll get a bigger place. Okay. How about you? Have you been working out? Uh, I haven't been working out, unfortunately. I have been, like, definitely exploring, like, different ways I can work out. Yeah. Um, but no, I haven't unfortunately been working out. Oh. Yeah. It's okay. I think you're moving around a lot as well. That is true. I did, I did walk quite a bit coming to your place today. Oh, you did? <laughs> I know, my place is a bit of a walk. I appreciate you coming though. Yeah. Oh, it's really nice. Okay, so we've got some fish ready. Fish. These are ready, so it's pretty fast actually. Let's take this back. Be careful with the oil. Okay. It might spot on your face if you're staring at it. Okay. So maybe some people are wondering how much oil did you use? Um or should we just use enough when we're frying? To, so that you can see like the fish covering the fish halfway through. Okay. So at least you can flip it. Like normally you would use a lot of oil, but like at home you wouldn't use that much oil because that's such a waste yeah. of oil. Yeah. Um yeah. And is there like a particular oil you use to fry your stuff? Um, I think I spoke about it a bit last time. Mm -hmm. I use canola oil, okay. but yummier oils would be like peanut oil. Okay. But um, it's not as healthy. Yeah. Yeah. But I think this would suffice. Coming on very nicely. Very nicely. Like it doesn't look like that typical Mexican fish, fry fish, mm -hmm. but I think I think it'll be good, just as good. It'll be our own twist. Mm. Okay. I think my favorite part of cooking is when like the food goes into the oil. Like you hear like that sizzling sound. Yeah. And you like, you really know like something is going on there. You know. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It's the entire process. From like it, prepping it, and then to like cooking it, and then to plating it, and then finally eating it. Ooh, sorry. It's just so satisfying. I might have to go. Um, move that a little aside. Sorry. No worries. Okay, so kind of the thing we wanted to talk about today is more about, you know, how exactly does um, eating healthy food like affect your brain, right? I think that's something we really want to like dive into. And yeah. I think, uh, oh, hi, hi Minami. Hi. Welcome. So feel free to ask any questions. We're making some fish tacos today. Uh, yeah. So one thing I wanted to go back was like, um, there's actually been a lot of research done mm -hmm. on how what you eat really affects like your your mood and then like your how your brain works. So I think one of their bigger researches is done like on gut bacteria. Yeah. So like you know like in your back in your gut, so like your large intestine or your small intestine, there's actually like a lot of things, a lot of bacteria that helps breaks down the food yeah. in your body. But these bacteria also at the same time actually like uh, affect your mood a lot. And so like food that, um, like probiotics for example, yeah. like really help those bacteria grow. And it's been shown that having like stuff like bro uh, probiotics really do like help you uh, reduce your anxiety as a person.
So this is just like one of the many ways like how food actually has an interaction with your mood. And not it's not just about like oh you feel better after the food, like oh you feel happier. Mm. But it's like it actually has like a physi like a biological impact on you. Definitely. Oh. Hi Zara. So we're just making some fish tacos now. Feel free to ask any questions. Now we're in the process of frying some fish. And later you'll watch us like eat some juicy, juicy fish taco. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so good. Okay. But like, speaking on probiotics as well, um, I think my whole family, we all eat probiotics okay. every day. Yeah. Um, and I encourage everyone to actually start doing probiotic supplements because like, you can really tell a difference. Like your gut health can, it's so obvious, it's very evident that it's so much better. And when you are able to have a healthy gut, like you can focus and concentrate so much better at what you're doing. Um, just having that feeling, you know, if you're constantly feeling like, like, like bloated, that's yeah. not a good feeling. Yeah. Let us know if you can hear us over the sizzling oil, or we have to speak louder. Because I think the oil might cover some of what we're saying. Oh, okay. Okay, so maybe I can show some of them. Okay, so this is the fish we fried so far. Oh yeah, look at that. I'll, I'll plate it nicer. This is uh -huh. just to like soak up the oil for now. Yes. Do you mind if I grab one? No. That's what it looks like. Look at that. Look at that juicy, juicy fish. As you can see, it's like very nicely like crisp on the outside, but on the inside, it's definitely very moist, which makes it like a perfect fried fish. So the reason why it looks like that is because I added so much turmeric, so that's why it's like color. Mm -hmm. um, and also why the reason why like there's like that little crunchy batter so, like outside is because I used the tempura batter powder, which you can easily buy as well in supermarkets. Yeah. Okay, so how how do you know if the fish is finished frying? Um. It's very simple. Once you see it's like both golden brown fish, especially this kind of white fish, it doesn't take long to cook. So <laughs> the moment it's brown like this, you already know it's definitely cooked. So Andrew asked, do you deliver? <laughs> I would love to start a delivering business if I could. <laughs> yeah. I feel like you're really like passionate about food, right? Just like yesterday you said you made like homemade, she made homemade pasta. It oh yeah, amazing. yesterday I was babysitting while I was working and um, at, for lunch I helped my nephew and nieces to make homemade pasta. We rolled dough with eggs um, and we just made our pasta from scratch. Yeah. So, oh I think I saw Abby tuned in. Hi Abby. So Hi, Abby. we're just making fish tacos now. Uh, we're also talking about how mental health is related to uh, what we eat. But feel free to ask us any questions um, about food or just about mental health. Yes, Minami says, I want to taste this. Yes. I wish everyone can taste this. Yeah, I'm also like dying to eat this now. Like, I just might sneak a bite if Medora's not watching. And I'm watching. Okay, and she's watching, so <laughs> I won't do that. But that's what I always do at home. You know like when my mom cooks? And then I like, I always like, oh, this looks interesting. Like, just like grab some and then just keep eating it. I and totally then, get what you mean. Yeah. I used to do that when I was a kid too. Yeah. And then by the time dinner actually comes, I'm like, oh, I'm actually not so <laughs> hungry anymore. But I can't sneaking bites. Oh, so I think Tony is asking, what's the best food you've ever had when you were traveling? Ooh. Hmm. I think for me, uh, it was when I was traveling in, I think, if I'm not mistaken, in Spain, yes. <gasps> and then I had one of the best, like, um, what's the, uh, seafood paella. 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 Sorry, paella. <laughs> paella. <laughs> paella. <laughs> paella. Yes, I had the best seafood paella like, ever. And I was like, this is amazing because like the city was right next to like the beach and like to the oh, that ocean. That so good. So like the seafood is like, oh my gosh, so good. Oh, there was like mussels, gosh. there was like octopus. Yeah, oh, so tons of great food. delicious. I think my favorite is probably um, steamed Alaskan king crab. Ooh. Oh, oh, it's just so good when oh. it's fresh and the meat Hi, is just like falling off the shell. Yeah. And you just dip it in butter. Oh my, oh, gosh. my gosh. 
But that's not very healthy. Butter is not very <laughs> Butter is not that healthy, but it's delicious. But it's delicious, and you can eat it like once in a blue moon, yeah. you know? So Annie, we're making some fish tacos. Um, we're just in the process of frying the fish now. So this is like the fish we are frying so far. We still have one batch to go, yeah. and then we're ready to eat. Yeah, we'll assemble. Oh, we'll, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll cut the avocado. Yes. And then we're ready to eat, pretty much. Oh, yeah. we should actually heat up some tacos. Oh, actually. that is a great point. So this is actually taco tortillas. Tortillas from Mexico. Whoa. So this is the tortilla I got when I went traveling in Mexico just to visit my parents. Long story, somehow they ended up working in Mexico. So I went over to Mexico in Chinese New Year just to like pick up some not to pick up some food, but like, you know, to visit them and then I picked up some also food. Also picked up the, on the way. On the way to visiting them, exactly. <laughs> Alright. It's convenient. Yes. Alright, I'm excited. What's the worst then? How did it affect your mood? Oh, what's the worst food you've had traveling? Oh, maybe like uh, stinky tofu, man. Really? I really can't do stinky tofu. I tried so many times. But then I think I tried it in a really bad place because they made steamed stinky tofu <laughs> and it's not even fried. So you really can't mask the smell. Mm -hmm. And that was like very hard to stomach. Oof. So Annie says, Marco, I need you to pick up some things from Mexico next time you go. Yes, more than <laughs> happy to pick up some food. Uh, just let us know. You should do a snack um, taste test. All the Mexico oh, snacks that you Oh yeah. I brought it to the office and I think uh, Rosanna was eating some yesterday. So. Oh really? Yeah, but I'm, I still have more. I think I bought like a pack of like Cheetos. Um, but like Mexican like, Cheetos? Mexican Cheetos, yeah. And it, apparently it's like super hot. So Ooh. we'll find out next time. Um, yeah, I think I was going to say something. Uh, stinky, oh, what's my worst food? Uh, so when I was traveling in Cambodia, yeah. um, you know, part of the different food in Cambodia. Not that it's like part of the cuisine, but something uh, I really like. Sorry. Okay. Nothing wrong there. Uh, something I really liked, but I didn't like, but I wanted to try was like spiders. Um, so I ate like fried spiders in Cambodia. So it's like a spider which is like this big. Oh my god, is it like fried tarantulas? Something along those lines, yeah. And the thing is like, it had like a really, so like they fried it with like some spices. So like on the outside it was like kind of crispy, but on the inside it was like really juice, juicy, but like disgusting juice, you know, not like a tasty juice. Disgusting juice. Yeah, it's like disgusting juice. Like the texture reminds me a lot of like a uh, soft shell crab. So that's like the comparison I would Wait, use. that's really good. I yeah. love soft shell crab. I love soft shell crab. Like the texture is the same, but like the taste is like on the opposite spectrum of the soft shell crab. Okay. So, do you think this is ready? Um, or do we need more time? Oh, well, I think it's ready. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, we're gonna take it out. Yeah. As you can see. Mm -hmm. Nice. And then I will place it here later. Oh my gosh, my tortilla's bubbling. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm good. Eat okay. spice, scary but cool. Yeah. I would not do it again. No more spiders. I've eaten um, uh, crickets, which is fine for me mm -hmm. because crickets are actually like tasteless, and you eat, you eat it like the the fried ones. And I heard that crickets actually have tons of protein and very low in calories and it's like trending to eat crickets now. Interesting. Yeah. So apparently, oh, his mouth, ah. Uh, we wish we could send it to you. Um, you'll just have to eat through us. <laughs> we'll, we'll eat it in we'll, front of you guys. We'll eat it in front of you guys, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll so, cut the avocado while we're talking. Okay, yeah. Uh, so one thing I remember it was really interesting when I was traveling in Cambodia was they actually had this like really nice cafe, like a really nice fancy <laughs> restaurant. Cambodia? I went to Cambodia. Yeah, I was working in Cambodia actually uh, for like a bit. But anyways, no um, so, so in this cafe they had, 
So me and my friend, and she was a vegetarian. So we we're like, oh, you know, we're looking around, like, okay, this looks like a nice hip cafe. We thought, okay, maybe they have like vegetarian food in here. Yeah. But it turns out the cafe is just like selling like insects, and it was like oh, really, really nice, really oh like gosh. different like, like types of insect served like in a very fancy way. So like, pretty much like gourmet insect yeah. feast. Yeah. Gourmet insect feast. So. That's crazy. Okay. Tony says try scorpion. I've actually tried scorpions before. Deep fried scorpions, they just taste like crisps. I um, think, yeah, that's the thing. If you fried anything, it just tastes like crispy stuff, yeah. right? So scorpions are actually fine. Um, I don't think they're too dangerous. Roaches, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be Ooh, so sure about roaches. I don't know about roaches. Yeah. Oh, so Brandon joined. Hi, Brandon. So Hi, we're, Brandon. We're just making some fish tacos now. Uh, we're also going to talk a little bit about mental health, but yeah, feel free to ask us questions, drop comments. Um, we're talking about like food, weird food we ate while we're traveling. Yeah. So, yeah. Food has a lot to do with, you know, with memories. Mm, yeah. Aside from um, mental health, like we, sometimes you don't even like to eat certain things, but because it reminds you of a certain memory, uh, you like that food, right? Yeah. For example, like... I'm not a big fan of cup noodles, mm -hmm. but I've been eating it because like it reminds me of the college days, and I feel like every time <laughs> I eat cup noodles, I like think of my college days, and oh. I, I was really happy back then. Um, yeah. Hmm. What's one food I eat? Or like, uh, or like um, scrambled eggs. Uh, when I was a kid, my dad would make like scrambled eggs for me every Sunday, oh. and um, now I just always eat scrambled eggs. And I always think about my dad, like, and those memories, like, you become nostalgic with it, and like, and there's sentimental value to dishes yeah. or certain foods. So I'm just smashing an avocado right now. Okay. To add as a girl. Oh, so I think Jamie's joined. Hi, Jamie. Hi, Jamie. So Annie, you said you've eaten a live baby octopus. <gasps> oh, is it the Korean one? Yeah, I think it's the Korean one. So I actually also had that. I remember it feeling really weird because, like, when you're like biting into like the octopus, it starts like sucking sucking onto like your tongue. Oh yeah. And I was like, oh, oh people oh. have died from um suffocating from the octopus, no? Yeah. And you're so brave. Because like I think you need to like chew it really, really well or else it'll like like choke you to death. Yeah. Basically. Okay. So Medora's just like dumping heap loads of Pepper. S salt, pepper into like the... Not heap loads of salt, just a little salt. But heap loads of pepper. Loads and of then pepper. olive oil. Always good. Into the smash avocado. And then we'll just um, mix it all up. And then maybe we can move a little closer. Oh, there we go. And then maybe just add some like... That's the avocado. Lemon. Yes. Juice. Awesome. So lemon is always good. Uh, I think traditionally they use lime, but lemon also works fine. Yeah. We just need something like acidic, essentially. Yeah. Okay. I think we can start with two first. Yeah. Okay. Each. I think we're okay, almost ready to eat. I think we can put the phone back there and then All we right. can like... We're gonna so. move your back. Yeah. All right. Okay. Ooh, this is looking good. This yeah. mashed avocado. Guys, look! This is the mashed avocado. Oh my gosh. With salt, pepper, olive oil, and a dash of lemon juice. No, I feel like I could just eat this like raw. Or like, you know, just eat this straight up. I don't need a mix of anything. I just yeah. couldn't eat but this. But please don't. <laughs> I will. <laughs> when the door is not looking. Oh something. my gosh, I'm always looking at you! Yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, we've got fried shallots as well to top up um, on the tacos. Oh. And then we've also got chopped tomatoes. Mm. And then I will now drain this actually. Yeah. Um, this is. Uh, Hi, Kevin. And then we have a new guest. So we're just cooking fish tacos now, and now we're ready to eat fish tacos. We're also talking about mental health, but feel free to drop us any questions. So we have some purple onions that I actually soaked in ice water, so mm -hmm. then you can get rid of that raw onion smell. Um, I think, let me just put this aside. Okay. Let me just clamp in 
Thank you. So these are like the tortilla shells that we'll be using. Look at that. Yes. So this is like authentic from Mexico. And something I realized while I was traveling in Mexico is actually it tastes kind of different from like the shells we have in Hong Kong. Um, it tastes a little less, I don't know, it tastes a little more like corn. I don't know how oh, to describe yeah. it. Yeah. So there's definitely like a little difference. It's kind of like you eat like Chinese food in America. It's like a little different from like the Chinese food at home. Yeah. So, shall I build our own? Yeah. Okay, let me try one first. So what we do is we grab one. Oh, I burnt that a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. And then we put the base on the Ooh. bottom first. So like a little um, mashed avocado. Oh, um, that's good. And then, let me get some spoons for the other stuff. Oof, as you can see. So maybe you can grab some tomatoes. Ooh. Just a little. Would you like some? Yes. Then I put that Cute. one here. I want tomatoes. Thank you. And then I think we just put this. Just like. Pick a few pieces. Okay. Or maybe just like two. two. I think two is good. Yeah. I think this two is good. And then we will just like grab a few red onions on top mm. here. Oh my god, this is slowly coming together really well. This looks really good. It's like I those like fancy Mexican places. I'm so excited. And then we sprinkle some fried shallots on top. Oh uh, yeah. Look at this. Okay guys, this is how it looks like. Wow. Can this is the enrada. You can put it on a plate, it looks really good. Oh, yeah. I mean, like, this is like legit what you would get like in a nice Mexican restaurant. Mm. I'm ready. It looks Are exactly... you ready? I'm ready. Okay. okay, should we dive right in? Yes, let's okay. dive in. Guys who aren't able to eat, uh, we'll be eating for you, so... I'm so sorry that I don't do Deliveroo. Yeah. Mmm, okay, you ready? Wait, what did, what did they say? Too messy to eat. Mmm, well, okay. Challenge accepted. Alright. Uh, it's gonna be really messy. Okay, let me just like. Mmm. 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 Wow. Oh my god. Mmm. Mmm, it's so good. Wow. Maybe also I'm really hungry as well. But this is really legit. Yeah. Can we what? have a little lime? You wanna add a little lime? No, lime, lemon. Lemon, sorry. Yes. I think we'll even elevate it even more. Add some to this. Okay, that's good? Yeah. Wow. Mmm. 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 Wow. I think with the lime, it really like elevates the lemon. it. Yeah, the lemon. Sorry, it elevates it to like the next level. <laughs> and like the guac, the fish, everything like kind of mixes in. It heightens like it. What are some foodie words that I can use? It elevates the fish, and then mm. it brightens the guac, and then it the the onion also adds a fresh, crispy texture. Yeah. Wow. Mmm. Wow. I feel like I could just eat this all day. Like, no joke. This tortilla is really good. Mmm. Mmm. Wow. Guys, I wish you were here. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh yeah. And we only took how much time to make this? What time is it? Um. Yeah. Grab it. Uh, 43. Oh, okay. That's so, not too bad at all. Yeah, so like 45 Under. minutes. Mm -hmm. Maybe an hour, including prep time. Mm hmm. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Hi, Esther. Mmm. Mmm. Dan also joined. Hi, Dan. Hi, Dan. So we're just eating fish tacos now, which we were we made. 
We're build, we'll build another one for you guys later mm -hmm. to show you for those who just joined. Yeah. Um, so then you can see how to build a fish taco. Fish taco. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Okay. Mmm. Okay. I'm getting faster than you. Oh, is that your second one? No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's my first one. Oh. Alright, I did like sneak one. Wait, did I only make three? Oh, I did. Okay, sorry. No! Oh, oh I used two. You used two! <laughs> no! Oh, wait, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, she thought I used two, but I, for the record, only used one. Okay? Okay. Yep, he is messy. I am kind of messy. I think under an hour is great. My meals take nap an hour. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this is actually not expensive at all. Easy to make at home. Anyone can do it. You don't have to be a professional chef to be able mm -hmm. to make this. Mm -hmm. um, and it's so healthy. You've got avocado, like tons of good fats for you. Mm -hmm. Tomatoes, so good for your heart. Onions, so good for your immunity system. Your um, immune system. Mm -hmm. and you've got shallots as well. Well, also a form of onion. And then... Fish and lots of protein mm -hmm. again. So it's relatively light meal yeah. and um, very, very delicious. I think part of it is also like the enjoyment of like making something yeah. with like other people. Like especially because like now we're like building like a taco. Yeah. I think that's like a lot of fun, you know, you can like customize, like have what you want or have what you don't want. Mm. And so like, you know, I think like if like if a family or like a group of friends, you know, everyone has like different things they like. Yeah. Like you can like accommodate that because you have oh, different yeah, 100%. different like toppings you can put on. Like you can actually have fish, you can have um, you know, minced pork, you can have um, shrimp, you can have all kinds of different protein. Like for the vegans out there you can also do tofu as well. Right? Yeah. Um and so like in general, this is like a very light, easy meal. Mm -hmm. I would say you can even make a taco party with your family. You oh know? yeah. Or like with your make friends. Make stacks of um, tortilla and yeah. then like this. And then you just like have fun, you know, build your own taco. Yeah. It would be so relaxing and it would be a good time. It's a great time to bond. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yes. So I think someone's asking about a little bit about how Kelly's support group came together. Oh, well, Kelly Support Group came together. We have three major teams. Mm -hmm. We focus on drug and alcohol um, awareness. And then we also have positive youth development. And then the last but not least is mental health and well-being. So I'm part of the mental health and well-being team, and Marco is part of the positive youth development team. Yep. And um, this segment, we want to bridge um, on the topics on food and mental health together yeah. and how even these little tiny moments of cooking can affect our daily lives mm -hmm. like tremendously. Yeah. Um, having these little rituals um, for yourself and also adding a new cooking skill like actually makes your life very more interesting. Like, yeah. Just like having something to look forward to every day like, oh I'm going to cook this today, oh I'm going to cook that today. Mm -hmm. Like it adds brightening elements to right now, like I feel like we need that. Um, so Kelly Support Group, we offer a lot of different workshops, but since mm -hmm. schools are closed right now, we are digitalizing our material and yeah. putting a lot on our website. So definitely check our website. We've got tons of mental health um, tips on it as well. And then um, we also usually do uh, different events, um, such as Rugby Sevens and music festivals. Um, we go there to supply a lot of free water um, to young people and to raise awareness to, you know, um, we come from a non-judgmental perspective as well and we just want to support the young people. Um, if they do need help, we're here for them. Mm -hmm. um, but given right now, I think Ruby 7 is already yeah. postponed, so we'll probably wait until October to do that. Yeah. Um, but for now, we're like doing these IG live to keep our young people engaged. Yeah. Um, but I was talking to a young person the other day, and they were mm -hmm. saying that they really like to use Snapchat. Okay. What do you, what's your take on Snapchat? Um, I haven't used 
Snapchat for a while. So I used it when I was in like university. Mm. Um, I think it's like a very convenient tool because like mm. if you send things to people, like it'll disappear, you know, yeah. after like a while. I think there's a thing on Snapchat called streak. Mm. So like that is an incentive for them to keep talking mm -hmm. because if they don't talk, if they don't continue talking, that yeah. the whole history of messages will go mm -hmm. away. Yeah. And so that's like actually a whole system of whole system of getting them to continue to increase more screen time and whatnot and that's quite controversial I think but I think like it could be a way for us to connect with youth as well yeah um, absolutely maybe Kali has been in existence for 30 years yeah yeah 30 years coming right this yeah year this year is our 30th year that's that's huge that's crazy I mean that's here before I was born same yeah <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> um, but um, I do feel like Kelly comes from a very different perspective to a lot of other organizations out there mm -hmm. because we support young people from a very non judgmental perspective. Yeah. And instead of, you know, lecturing them what they need to do, we're there to support them and provide the resources that they need in order to, you know, reach their full potential. Mm -hmm. yeah. And, um, a lot of the ways is what I said just now. Yeah. Like, if uh, you need water, like we're here, I, and I think a lot of those music, music festivals, those um, areas where they sell alcohol, they also yeah. sell bottled water, but yeah. for a crazy amount of price. And I think that's that's really um, that's horrible because people would rather just pop, buy alcohol than buy water. Yeah. Or if water was that expensive, because it's just not worth it in their mind, right? And then they end up getting drunk and stuff. So um, I think very, it's very important that Kelly Support Group has that water booth to supply free water. Yeah. And I think we help a lot of young people from stay, staying hydrated and mm -hmm. not getting at risk for um, being drunk or intoxicated um, and make fool of themselves. Mm -hmm. yeah. What did I have to say? Young people helping each other. Absolutely. Yeah. I think peer support is definitely one of our like main themes of Kelly support group, mm -hmm. hence the word support in the in our name. Yeah, right? I think regardless whichever aspect, like drug and alcohol or positive youth development or mental health and well-being, we start with a peer support um, approach because yeah. that's the best way to get the peers to help one another and young people to um, do better because they listen to their peers the most. Yeah, and, absolutely. Um, because our whole organization is so youthful, yeah. um, it's easier for us to engage with them. Yeah, I think definitely something we can do now is like continue to support our peers. Mm. Um, so like I think just like last week, one one of my friends who like I was really close to when I was studying, but we kind of like grew apart a little bit because mm. like we were both starting to work. Uh, she just sent me a message, you know, like oh hey, was thinking about you, like wanted to check up on you, and like that meant a lot to me, you know. Of like, course. It was like sent out of the blue. She just wanted to check up on me, see how, how I was doing. And I think so, that's like, the thing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, um, my friend was telling me, actually Daniel was telling me about the book he was reading mm -hmm. from Malcolm Gladwell. And he was saying that you should actually assume people are good. Mm. Um, I think we grew up in a society where we're always like, you know, fighting for our own survival. That's yeah. the evolutionary theory. And we almost forget that you know, everyone is actually fighting the same battle, yeah. especially right now. And we actually should team up and, you know, hold hands and battle through this yeah. together rather than, yeah. you know, um, you, you do you, I do me. Um, and this, these are the times when we should show the most support with each other. And that's when you build the strongest bonds. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Community over competition. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. So maybe just like a word of advice for you guys, you know, send that message to a friend you maybe haven't talked to for a while, yeah. just to check up on that friend, see how they're doing. Uh, honestly, like for me, it made like a really big impact. Like it made my day, honestly, just getting that text from her. Um, I'm sure like you're gonna make other people's days, right? Mm -hmm. like, if you do send that text. So just something to keep in mind, you guys can like support each other in this difficult period. Absolutely. Yeah. And it's so simple and it's free and it's just, people will gain so much from just a small note. So maybe, yes, this is a good challenge mm. from this IG Live. Yeah. Send a message to someone that you haven't talked to in a long time and just let them know, hey, I hope you're well. Yeah. Or whatever way you want to say it. Yeah.
<laughs> Absolutely. But yeah. also, you can just make some fish tacos. You can also make some fish tacos and uh, have a fish taco party or oh, yeah. seafood taco party or like just taco party and have all kinds of toppings on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Right? I, I actually think it's time for my second one. Oh, yeah. You know what I think you need? What? I think you need a little chili. No! <laughs> Everyone needs a little spice in their life. Okay, I will have a little bit, but let me build my taco first. So for those who just joined and haven't seen us build a taco, we first spread um, fresh avocado that we've mashed with salt and pepper and olive oil and a little um, squeeze of lemon. And then we add some fresh diced tomato on the bottom. And then we put it here so then it binds everything together well, sits here well. If you put it on top, mm. it might like fall all over the place. And then we put fish on here. Maybe like two. And then I will put a few slices of red onion. It's raw, but I soaked it in ice water to get rid of that raw onion flavor. And then add some fried shallots to add that extra crunch texture. And that's how it looks like again. Yep. I'll show it to y'all. And it's time. Oh, bye Annie. Take care. Bye Annie. Time for some chili. Oh my gosh, I'm going to... Okay. Okay, well Wait, just... You gotta, like, you gotta be nice to me, man. Okay, I'll be very generous to you. That's no, it. don't generous. <laughs> but no, I don't. I just like, a little bit. Oh, oh okay, oh, okay, oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. That's okay, good. okay. It was just like one tiny drip, one tiny drip. Oh, the Lila. Huh? Delish. Okay, this is delish. <laughs> yes, it is delish. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to put this. I just added like a little bit. Oh my gosh, I build my towel a little too big. Okay. Should I just maybe take the like, fish out? Mm. But that's the one with the chili sauce. Okay. I'm ready. Wow. I think like adding that little chili, it's like adds in like another kick, you know, into like the food. Like there's already that kick from the lemon, but there's another kick from the chili. And it's amazing. I can't taste the chili. Ooh! This calls for more chili. I can do a little bit more. Okay. I'll make sure you're... Oh my god, happy. actually it's coming. It's coming. Wait, hold on. <laughs> okay, maybe a little bit. Okay, okay. But I can feel I'll, it. I'll be generous. I'll be... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I just added like a teeny, teeny drop. Guys, don't you want to see Medora sweat? She says she'll sweat a lot if she eats chili. No! If you if you guys say she you want her to eat the chili, I think she'll do it. If more than five people say I need to eat chili, then I'll do it. You heard her. Mm-hmm. A few more squeezes of lime. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, I forgot. Can you? Oh. You want me to cut that up? No worries, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, Cindy was due for, due, go for it, Medora. Okay, I'll do it for Cindy. Give me some more chili then. I'm really gonna sweat. Okay. I'll be very generous. Okay. Right. Can you guys see? Like, oh my god. I'll give you a healthy block. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's so much! I'm going to die! Guys, okay. you will see Medora sweat on okay. IG Live. I don't eat spicy food. This is guys. like the highlight of IG Live. I don't to see eat you spicy. sweat. I don't eat spicy food, so this is going to be a torture. This is going to be amazing. Okay. Oh, see, not so bad, right? What? Not so bad. Not so bad. Mmm. See? You're fine. No. I, might, I might not have hit it. No sweat. Let's I add some- it. let's add a little no. more. No! Let's add a little more. Oh no, because it's all squeezed to the back. Okay. okay. No, stop. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you guys. 
I want to add a little light myself. It's actually not so bad. Mm. Yeah. Like a little spice. See? Mm. I actually prefer it too. Alright, let's have a no, 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 I'm kidding. <laughs> like a slight kick, you can still enjoy the flavors, but when it's like too much, you're just like wasting the food now. Mm. You know what I mean? Huh. I want to be a little more generous and add a few blobs. Because you can take it, wow. Okay, I added like quite a few blobs. Let's see what happens. I think it should be good. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. I ate the bit now. I feel like I may have added a little too much. <sighs> oh no. <laughs> I'm starting to regret. Adding it to my... Wait, we're... I don't want to end on this <laughs> note! We're like... Mm. Okay. <laughs> we still have time, but maybe we should do like a summary of what we talked about today. Mm-hmm. So, one thing we talked about, cooking your own food, I think. Highly recommend it. Um, especially this fish taco dish, you know. Go for foods which are high in the uh, protein, protein, low in fat, low in fat. Um, lots of colors because mm -hmm. colors indicate different vegetables, and different colors also mean different different colored vegetables mean you're getting different kinds of vitamin C. Mm. Um, oh my god, this is like really spicy now. <laughs> okay. Um, but it's okay. I will power through. <laughs> um, um, so I would highly recommend adding turmeric powder all the time mm. in your cooking. Um, really good for boosting your immune system. And again, um, aside from eating healthily, also treat cooking as a way to help relieve stress and maybe add a new element to your lifestyle mm -hmm. to, oh my God, like my, my mouth is like yeah. oh, burning. So right add now. a new element to your lifestyle, learn a new skill. And cooking is really, or like, just like healthy food in general is just really good for your brain and like, Fruit, like for one example I used was like it'll affect your gut bacteria. Oh yeah. And that has like gut a bacteria. that has like a big impact on like for example anxiety, right? Like they've a lot of studies have shown that affecting your gut bacteria, like having more gut bacteria can actually improve like your mental health. Mm -hmm. So that's something like you can definitely work towards. Absolutely. And also, um, there's a lot of foods that can elevate your mood. Um, a few of them being the nuts, um, spinach, chicken, turkey, fish. Um, oysters, if you like oysters. oysters. Yeah. Um, and I think in general, just we're going through a tough time right now. We're all pushing through and try to do one thing that can allow yourself to feel relaxed a day. Mm -hmm. And today, if you can, like we said, that challenge, send a message to someone you haven't connected in for a while mm -hmm. and let them know that you're thinking of them because words are free but they can feel priceless and I think this is a great way to show your love to someone mm -hmm. and people will definitely appreciate it and they will remember it they will absolutely remember it um, I think that's around what I want to talk about yeah. today I think that's what I kind of nicely covers what we talked about today um, yeah I think so now all that's left to do is just to finish the talk <sighs> Gosh. Up. Thank you mm. so much for bringing the chili over, Marco. You're welcome. I am now experiencing um, this burn like no other. Mm. But I am glad I experienced it. <laughs> Quote of the day. I say, um, what's the quote of the day? Be happy. And do something that can... No, life is short. Mm. This is going to sound so cliche. Life is really short, but make use of every single minute of your day. Absolutely. Even if it's just making tacos. Yeah. That's, that's the end of the quote. Even if it's just making tacos. Okay. Also, uh, yeah, I think we're going to end here soon. But just to let you guys know, um, this will be... Unfortunately, my last time doing this oh no, for a while. Oh really? Yeah, but we have a great team of people who are taking this up next week. Very excited to see them. Ooh, uh, they'll be in Cantonese though. 
But oh, okay. still feel free to tune in. I'll